Hey, what's up, guys? All right, we're good. Oh, we're starting. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to our live stream where we're going to be showing off this guy here, the uh, Sauron Art Mask. But we have some other pieces to show off. We've got prizes to give away. We've got all kinds of stuff to talk about today. Uh, I know some of you have been dying to see MJ. There's the smooth criminal statue right here. All kinds of cool stuff today. So let's, we're going to wait a few minutes. We're going to let some people join the channel. And uh, then we'll, we'll get going. We're going to talk in the chat. I'm by myself today. Melissa was not feeling well. Of course, with everything that's going on with COVID and stuff, everybody's kind of like, as soon as somebody sneezes or coughs, they stay home. So you guys got to deal with me solo today. <laughs> there, I knew Daniel was going to be excited. So we'll give it a few minutes. We'll uh, see. We'll get some more people here in the chat. We've got uh, different stuff to talk about. We're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about giveaways. We're going to talk about MJ. We're going to talk about Orlog. Uh, and of course, we're going to talk about the Sauron mask, which you can see is huge. For those of you that have the uh, battle damage T800 or just the regular T800, some people have actually mentioned that this is too big. Uh, it's bigger than a human skull. I kind of don't agree. But you can see the size difference, just how huge this thing is. It's massive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We gotta, can't show the MJ face too close. So a lot of people have asked about Michael Jackson's face. Um, and why we haven't really shown up close the face. So this is actually a licensor request. Um, they like to preserve the kind of the prestige and the mystery behind MJ. So in an effort for everyone to kind of get it as a surprise and to see just how beautiful it is, they'd rather it be not revealed online until people start receiving it. And then if you guys want to post your photos and whatever stuff and show it off, well, then you can do that. So that's kind of where we're at with MJ. So that's why you haven't seen close-ups of the face. But it does look really, really good. We'll go through it. I'll turn this on. We'll kind of do like, it's, well, it's already unboxed, but it's going to be kind of like a, a mini unboxing, I guess. The Sauron helmet is indeed sick. <laughs> it's huge. <laughs> it's really, really nice. We'll, we'll go all through it. Um, in case you guys haven't seen, we did launch it at 1 o'clock Eastern. Uh, so you can go check out purearts.com and go check it out on there. Um, this is going to be the exclusive edition that's sold on purearts.com, which includes a uh, lithograph print. It is basically a concept, a piece of concept art from our uh, artist team uh, that we'll have and it will be signed. So that's what's included uh, with the exclusive edition. Uh, so there's 500 total pieces of the exclusive edition on, uh, for this guy here. The standard edition, which will be available at retailers uh, pretty much all over the world. There are some territorial restrictions that we need to, you got to be careful of. Um, there's 7,000 total units for that one. So yeah, this is gonna be, uh, this is a beast. It's, uh, it's getting scooped up pretty quick. The orders are pretty crazy today, so it's been, uh, it's been a busy day. So let's see, how many people are we at? We got, well, we got about 20. Let's give it another 
two minutes. Give it another two minutes and we'll get started. Yeah, Melissa's not joining us today. Sorry, guys. Got sick just before, literally yesterday. Let, let us know that she wasn't feeling good. So she, she actually wanted to come in and we're all like, no, no, you stay home. <laughs> All right, let's see how are we doing here, guys. All right, well, listen, why don't we, uh, why don't we get started? Daniel Creek is having a, a field day. I told you you were going to be happy to join this chat today. <laughs> All right, so let's get the party started. So uh, let's start off with Sauron. Um, let me just pull up all the info that we're going to need here. There we go. Right, so Sauron Art Mask uh, was launched today. It is considered a one-to-one -one piece. Now, I know there's a lot of debate on whether it truly is a one-to-one -one piece. Um, so there are no <coughs> official measurements of the Sauron head or the Sauron helmet because they actually never made the prop that size, right? The prop was made for just a regular person to wear. So everybody, everything we have is sort of a theory. Um, there are some, uh, some source materials from Weta that we can use, uh, but the, you know they've got helmet sizes anywhere between like 80 centimeters to a meter. Um, obviously, we can't make the helmet a meter tall, which actually seems a little excessively huge because he is—he's uh, nine foot two, which is 2.7 meters, I think. So I don't know if it would necessarily be a, be a meter, but anyway, you guys have seen how much stuff costs to ship these days. If we were to make this a meter tall and basically put it in like a box used to ship an oven. It probably cost you like $1,500 just in the shipping. So we have to kind of keep it realistic. But as you can see, compared to this helmet here, and I mean, if I were to take, if I take this art mask, the battle damage, you put it next to my head, you can see it's pretty much the size of my, my Menard. And you can see how, look at the size difference here. You can see how much bigger this is. It's huge. Um, so this guy went up for sale today. It's $8.99. Like I said, exclusive edition. There's only 500 available. Um, and what's really cool about this is it's sort of like, two collectibles in one. So let me show you how this works. Hopefully I don't break anything. So this is actually a prototype. Uh, and as I've mentioned in the past, our prototypes are typically much more fragile than, than the real production pieces. So he just, here, you know what? We're gonna turn off the switch because that's kind of making me scared. There we go. And there he comes off. Whoa, look at it, I'm already breaking things. And there's a pin right here. And that's what holds the whole thing together. And you get the whole Varadur base. And the base has the eye of Sauron that lights up. It's got the lava effects. And the base is really beautifully detailed. So here, we can turn that back on. It's 360 degrees, OK? So the entire thing is sculpted. So it doesn't have like a, an empty back or anything like that. You can see the entire thing is sculpted. And the details on it are absolutely incredible. Go on the site. Check on the site. You can see all the photos. And there is the helmet. And I mean, it is just, it's giant. The helmet's really big. I can put it over, I can actually put it over the Terminator head. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to break anything, but uh, yeah, it's quite big, uh, beautifully detailed. I'll pick up the base. We'll get it closer to the camera. You guys can check it out. But uh, yeah, so that's the helmet there. Um, so you kind of get two full collectibles in one. You can actually, we've, we've actually put like a paint can on this like that and just held it up on a table. So you could actually display these separately if you really wanted to. Um, it's a fully displayable piece. I mean, it's just, it looks absolutely amazing. And there's a little hole that's hidden behind the eye of Sauron. So you just take the, uh, you take the post here. And then without, <laughs> let me see if I can get him in here. I'm trying to find the hole. There it is. And that just goes in like so. And there you go. So yeah, let's, uh, let me see if I can get it closer to the camera. I can't move the camera. We're doing a new setup, guys, this time. I don't know if you noticed, but our video's in 1080 this time. We've got some, some nice effects. We've got like the, the preloading screen and all that. So let me bring this over here. There we go. So hopefully, hopefully I've kind of got it in the shot. Does it look all right? Somebody wants me to wear it. I can, I'm, <laughs> I can kind of put, here, wait. Like, I can kind of put it there. There you go. That's it on my head. <laughs> and I can actually wear this easily with my glasses on. So that's how, this thing's pretty big. 
So there you go. And that's the, the inside right there. So beautiful, beautiful finishing on it with all the details. Really, really nice. So again, guys, just go on the site, go on purearts.com. You can check out all the photos. The photos are in crazy resolution. You can like zoom in right, right into the mask. There's no blurring, there's no nothing. You can see everything. So I'll put this down here like so. There we go. Sorry, my mic is getting all screwed up. There we go. And there is the, there's the base. Does that look okay, guys? Nico, does that look all right? All right, good stuff. And you can see the lava effects going on there. And there we go. And then you've got, of course, the Eye of Sauron on the top. He's watching you. <laughs> so there you go. That's, uh, that's this piece. So you can see it is not small. It is a very large display piece for sure. It's over three feet tall when it's all put together. So it's pretty big. Let me just put this together. And voila, there we go. So there we go. This is going to be shipping in Q1 2023. So usually our statues, our resin pieces, the wait time is around 12 months. Um, and we've got, actually, there's a new page on the site. So if you guys go on to purearts.com and you click on the get more in the top menu, go to project status and ETAs, and I have, there's a whole new page that we put up there that actually has all the projects that are coming up, all the status. This one hasn't been added yet. Excuse me, we'll add it very soon. But it's just really handy because a lot of people will ask us for ETAs and where's this and where's that. So this is really handy. So it shows you, um, obviously, pre-order status. It's showing you if it's in pre-production, production, QC and packing, uh, whether it's cargo shipped, um, and if it's on final shipping. And then as we get closer, we put the actual specific month that it's being launched, okay? So Pure Arts, Project Status, and ETAs. Go check out that page. All of our projects are on there now. And it's been updated. All of our figures that we've launched in the past that are coming up, everything is on there. So go check that out. Okay, so that's that guy. Let me go into the stream. Let's go see. We got any questions? Uh, let's see. Uh, do you know my address? I'll wait for the prototype. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't send out prototypes because they usually tend to get uh, demolished. All right, cool. Uh, where's Melissa? Yeah, Melissa's at home. She's resting. She's actually in the chat. Yes, okay, so Altair, that's a good question. So somebody's asked about the Animus Altair statues. So Animus Altair, what happened was is we did a drop test on the new batch and the packaging is not protecting it. So um, for those of you that have been following Pure Arts for a while, we've gone through four different generations of packaging styles and now we have sort of the version that we've got now where it's the multiple trays. We're using, uh, the pieces are kind of broken down even further and then they're all keyed to assemble. So they're all in individual little like pockets within the foam. And the foam is now uh, held together with straps. So we actually use uh, these uh, Velcro straps to hold everything. So it's not like a clamshell that's taped. So it really keeps everything nice and tight. And um, in some cases, we're even using plastic protectors on the, for the corners of the retail boxes. So Altair, Altair is the first generation. It's one of the first statues we ever did, and it's kind of like that first generation packaging. So we did some drop tests, and it just wasn't cutting it. And obviously, we don't want to ship you guys statues that are smashed. We want stuff to you know, survive as best as possible, even though there's some companies out there, some courier companies use them like soccer balls for some reason. Uh, so the drop test did not work out, so we're not satisfied with kind of the survival rate of the drop test. So those box designs are being scrapped and we're redoing all of the packaging so it's more in line with what we do now. So that's why Altair is delayed. So Altair, we're gonna have to hang in there a little bit longer, probably summer. That's probably what's gonna happen for Altair. If it's not already on the project status, it, we will add it soon. I know Bayek is on there because Bayek just sold out. Um, we have, uh, Etsio was on the way. So Etsio, we have just enough for all of our current back orders. So if you have an Etsio, uh, Animus Etsio on back order, it's gonna be shipping very, very soon. They're, it's, uh, they're on the container shipping out to all our warehouses. So very, very soon. New orders, uh, that won't be until I believe it's May, June. But again, that's gonna be, you can go check out the, uh, the status page and everything is on there. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much an Evor. I know uh, uh, people in Europe, you're waiting for your Evors. 
Uh, those will be arriving uh, probably, that's kind of priority. So uh, Chinese New Year just finished. As soon as they came back, they're working on those units. So I expect those to be done probably in March. So you can expect those to arrive in the warehouse in April. So that's kind of the deal with those guys there. Okay, um, do I get a peek at the premium MJ box? Um, I'm not sure where the boxes are right now, unfortunately, to be totally honest. Okay, um, next Animus soon, yes. The next Animus statue is coming out very soon, <coughs> March. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. We're very excited for this piece. Um, it's actually being photographed right now. Not right this second, but like in this week. Uh, so we're gonna be very excited to present that. We, are, we have something we're gonna show first um, that is also in the Assassin's Creed world. Little hint in Valhalla. And then after that, we will have a new Animus coming out very, very soon. So super excited to show that one off. Um, any questions about Sauron? Drop it in the chat and let me know. Oh, let's put them back. Let's get them rotating again here. There we go. I'm genuinely scared. Please, I don't want to break any prototypes. I'm going to get yelled at. All right, let's move on. Uh, so Brian Fury, yes, for those of you that saw Brian Fury uh, the first time, you were disappointed uh, with Brian Fury's head sculpt. It was a little bit off. It was based off a piece of artwork that was specifically given to us by the licensor. Um, and that's what we issued. You guys gave us feedback. We're not fans. So we went ahead and made some corrections. This is him here. Uh, this statue is actually really, really big. Very, very cool. I've actually taken the arms off before just to show it on camera. Uh, but the new head sculpt is a million times better. It actually just looks way more menacing. It looks more like him. Uh, so again, you can check that out uh, on purearts.com. You can see the new head sculpt. We've got all the detailed photos up close. So you can really, really see what he looks like. Way, way better. Um, the early bird special recently ended on this guy. But again, very, very cool statue. And it's got like a crazy presence. So if you dig the Brian Fury, if you love Tekken, go check this guy out because he's very cool. All right, let me see. All uh, right, yeah, Brian Fury. Brian Fury is very cool. Okay, so next, MJ. Let's talk about Michael. So here's the Michael Jackson Smooth Criminal statue. This has been um, quite a project. I want to load up the product page for Michael real quick. And um, we'll talk about him. Smooth. Let's look up Mr. Smooth Criminal over here. There we go. So this is the Deluxe Edition. So the Deluxe Edition uh, edition includes MJ and it includes the jukebox, okay? And uh, one of the differences is they come, this is the COA, so really, really nice COA. Um, and the COA is actually in this highly reflective metal. The deluxe comes in the gold and the standard version, which does not come with the extra base piece or the jukebox, it's silver, okay? So a really, really nice metal plate. And the jukebox uh, plugs in with an AC adapter and it's sound sensitive. So when you play your music, you got the whole sound sensitive lighting going on. I'm, I'm not gonna beatbox. I, I beatboxed in an unboxing we have coming up and I was laughed at severely, so I'm not gonna beatbox. Uh, but that is the jukebox. And of course the jukebox is a dead on replica of the jukebox used in the Smooth Criminal music video. And it weighs a ton. Let me see if I can carefully come over to the camera. And there's, I, I gotta be in the light, there we go. There's the jukebox, is that showing okay? So yeah, so you've got the full on replica, the, the, you've got the, the records inside, the LPs inside, you have all the little, the coin slot with all the different uh, coin denominations, you've got the little letters and numbers on the buttons to choose the LP. Not a real one, by the way. And then on the back, like it's heavy, I just don't <laughs> wanna drop it. On the back, there's a magnetic door that opens and you can store whatever goodies in here. You can put like a Bluetooth speaker if you want, things like that. And there you go, the AC is there, power's there. So there you go, that's the jukebox. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Carefully put this guy here. Okay. Sorry guys, my mic, there we go. All right, that's on, okay. Now MJ himself, uh, we're gonna have the unboxing very, very soon. 
Uh, we're just getting approval on the, on the unboxing video. Once we have that from the licensor, we'll show that. And you're going to see really, really up close and detailed how amazing the suit is on this guy. The suit is all custom tailored, all handmade, all pressed like a suit. So it's as though you sent this thing to the dry cleaner and got it starched nice and crisp. It is really, really impressive. And what's beautiful on it is the stitch work, the buttons, the cufflinks, everything is to scale. And I don't know if you guys have seen some of these quarter scale pieces before, but where like the zipper is too big or the buttons are too big, like yes, they're smaller, but not small enough. You will not have that issue with this at all. Everything is dead on. It's really, really impressive. And you, everything comes off and it makes like a perfect suit, like the silk shirt and everything. It's really, really well done. People were asking, does this hat come off? So yes. That comes off, the hat does come off. Um, and he's got, it comes with extra hair ties, it comes with money, like 1930s styled cash here. And the deluxe also comes with, if you order from the site, it comes with the LP. It's got the vinyl replica of Smooth Criminal right there. Uh, just super, super impressive. You got the mic stand, uh, which is all metal actually. Um, and he's got a full steel rod that goes all the way through the body. So some people are asking, okay, what if he starts leaning or anything like that? Uh, over time, he'll start leaning more and more. Uh, he won't. There's a big solid steel pin that's completely through the body all the way into the base. So yeah, so that is uh, your first look at MJ. Any questions about Michael? Let me go back to the stream. Let me see. Where's Daniel? He should be lighting it up. Uh, can I see the exclusive one-third scale smooth criminal? Yeah, that was, yeah, that's that right there. That's it right there. And it actually comes even with a little dust sleeve. I don't know if it's missing. Oh yeah, there you go. So it even comes with a little dust sleeve that you normally get when you buy an LP. And there you go. Okay, I can't get it. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. That's the CD, uh, the, the, the record. Uh, give this statue a hug for me. <laughs> I'm gonna like just crush the whole thing. But yeah, it, I mean, it's really, really, really impressive. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, and some of the other details that I love is like even the suspenders. So the suspenders are actually an elastic material like real suspenders. Everything just feels dead on, real, real clothing. Just, they, you know, it, it's from a scene from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's literally like they took the real suit and just shrunk it down. It's perfectly replicated. It's really, <laughs> it's really well done. Um, really nice details. Even the, um, the strips of tape on his fingertips, like he, they even sculpted in where it looks like, you know, the tape was torn off. It's not just like a straight edge. It actually looks like it's been torn. It's, it's just really, really impressive, beautifully done. Um, and of course you get two sections of base, right? So the bases come in two sections. So when you get the standard, you get basically everything you see here. If you get the deluxe, you also get the jukebox and the extra piece of stage. So hope that makes sense. Um, the packaging is super premium. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, it's basically, it opens up like it's a double box. So you've got the bottom tray, top tray, and it's made out of this really beautiful, heavy, heavy duty cardboard. And it, the whole thing has like this texture to it that almost feels like a canvas texture. And the logos are like in that metal reflective foil. It's just, it's beautiful. They're not like gaudy or anything. It just looks something you would buy at like the Louis Vuitton store or something. It's just really, really high end looking. It's, it's beautiful. And like I said, even the, you know, even the COA is super nice. Beautiful COA, so really impressive. It's a, it's a gorgeous statue. Beautiful, beautiful statue. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, uh, yes, okay, so that's a good question for uh, Lord of the Rings. So right now, the license we have for Lord of the Rings at this point in time is for this art mask style format. So uh, we don't currently have any plans for uh, like character-based statues and things like that. For now, uh, the art mask is really the, the license that we have and, and what we're focusing on. It's, it's a unique collectible. It's a, a unique series for us that's very popular. All of our, all of our art mask series sell very, very well. Uh, and they're cool just because they also come with a really nice decorative thematic basis. So that's really something that we're going to be focusing on. And we do have more pieces coming, um, both in terms of Lord of the Rings, but also in other licenses as well. So very exciting for that. Um, okay, so that's MJ. Uh, the Witcher. Oh, everyone wants to know about The Witcher. So The Witcher is taking longer than we thought. Um, but that's because there's just a lot of details and there's a lot of things that we want to make sure are just right. So one of the big challenges we had was the scale. So The Witcher, uh, for those of you that have seen the teaser, 
um, that we posted online. Most of you have guessed which artwork it's based on. And if you've seen that artwork, well, you'll know that the statue wingspan is gigantic. It's huge. So we're working very hard on what is the scale that we want to go with that makes the most sense. Um, because, you know, we know that people don't have two meter wide display cases for one, for one statue. So we can't go too crazy. Uh, so we're working on that and we're working on sort of the different formats that will be available. So it's something that we're working on. That is why it's taking longer than expected. We just want to make sure that it's done right and it's something accessible to people. Now, we've, we've spoken about this in, in past feeds where the cost of creating these collectibles has just gone insane, like everything else, right? Everything is going up, you know, groceries, gas, you name it, everything is more expensive. Collectibles as well, to, to produce these pieces, everything from the shipping to the raw materials have gone up exponentially. So if we make it too big, it's gonna be too expensive and then, you know, we're not gonna be, you know, we'll only be able to sell it to like the very, very high end market, which is something that we don't wanna do. I apologize for the banging, they're apparently renovating next door. <laughs> So that's where we're at with uh, our Witcher statue. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, King of the Dead helmet would be amazing. There's no. There's going to be some cool. There's going to be some cool stuff. And I'm a, so for those of you that know um, kind of a little bit more about my collecting history, Lord of the Rings is one of the franchises that I personally collected. So you can imagine how stoked I am to see this stuff. I was. Uh, it, somebody had asked me in an inter interview what were the licenses that I wish were brought to Pure Arts. And um, there was kind of two of them. One of them was Predator, because I'm a huge Predator freak. And uh, the other one was Lord of the Rings. But I couldn't say it because literally a month later we announced Lord of the Rings. So that was kind of the deal there. Um, let's talk about Orlog. Let's talk about Orlog. Yeah, that's a hot topic. Um, we got anybody here that is uh, from the Orlog Kickstarter community? We did invite, we posted an update on Kickstarter. Uh, with a link to today's, uh, we mentioned that there was going to be a live stream today. We linked them to our YouTube. I don't know, there's a 10 second delay. We'll see if anybody answers. Okay. Anyway, Orlog. Let's talk about Orlog. So Orlog retail has been going uh, super well. That actually has been uh, pretty smooth. We ran out of stock or we're running out of stock in North America, but we have another shipment coming in of another 5,000 units um, coming up in like next week or in the next two weeks. So we'll have more uh, or we'll have more Orlog inventory for that. The retail is doing super well. It's it's been just a crazy crazy journey. Kickstarter has been a massive challenge. <coughs> One of the biggest challenges we've had again is just logistics. Logistics have been the theme, you know, and I know everyone's sick of hearing, you know, well it's because of the pandemic. I am beyond sick of hearing it, but it is the reality. The pandemic continues to affect shipping worldwide from boats being available, containers being available, um, customs agents and people like physically at the port to receive the containers. It's just been a nightmare. The boats are now taking three months instead of, you know, 45 days or 30 days. It's, uh, it's been a real donkey show. So that's really what's affected. Um, that's what's really affected the Kickstarter. So all the Kickstarters around the world are shipped at this point, except for everything that's being handled by a shipping partner that we tried called VFI. So VFI are taking care of shipping in Asia, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Middle East, and a couple of other uh, a, a couple of other countries. They were uh, recommended to us. They were specialized in that. And I guess, unfortunately, we didn't we didn't sync up on exactly what the timelines were for things to ship. Um, and it's just taken much longer than we thought, way longer than we thought possible. And then on top of their typical longer delays, we also have shipping delays on top of that. So it's been it's been very, very difficult, and I, you know, and I understand why people in Australia and New Zealand are, are pissed. I mean, they're not happy. Uh, I completely understand because the retail editions actually made it to the distributors before the Kickstarters. And the worst part is, is that the Kickstarters, uh, the the retail versions, shipped out weeks after the Kickstarters. So it's, it's been super frustrating. And you know, there's just there's not much we can do about it. Once they were loaded onto a boat, you know, it was all we can do is is wait. Um, we're putting pressure on our, all of our partners to make sure it gets shipped out as quickly as possible so that once the port, they arrive at port, they're out as quickly as possible. But like, believe us guys, we are, you know, no one is more frustrated with the entire process than I am when things get delayed. And it's, it, it sucks because everywhere else went pretty smooth. Uh, out of 12,000 Kickstarter units, you know, 11,000 were all were delivered under reasonable circumstances, but it's just that final thousand for Australia and for some other places, it's been, it's been super frustrating. So 
guys, you know, we do apologize. We, we are, we hear you. We are seeing the comments. We're reading the emails. Like, trust me, we're seeing everything. Now, for those of you that have uh, lost items or anything like that, so you've, you've uh, you received your unit and there was something missing, um, something was broken, something is not satisfactory in, in that. So we've asked you to do a couple things. One is if you're missing something in your shipment. So you received your shipment and it's missing a set of dice or the cloth is missing, some, something like that, um, and you checked under the tray, um, you've gone ahead and you've filled out this Google form. So we put up a, a link to a Google form where you can just let us know what you're missing and your information. Um, and we're gonna collect all that and we're basically gonna put it all together, figure out what's needed in different zones to our different warehouses and we're gonna just ship everything in one big shot. So we're working on that right now. The other thing for stuff that's not lost, item, missing items in your box, so stuff that's broken, you didn't receive your order, you didn't get any tracking, you're missing everything. Um, we asked you to hit up support at purearts.com. So we've been compiling all those emails, everything is saved, we use Zendesk to compile everything. Um, so now that the worldwide shipping is pretty much done, we're starting to go through all of those emails and we're kind of just tagging everything. So we know, okay, this is a missing this, this is a missing that, that's a damage that. And we're going through everything and we're gonna put all of that together and we're gonna have that shipped from our factory uh, to our warehouses. In fact, uh, to make it even faster for any of those problems, we're not even gonna be using um, uh, container shipping because it's too slow. We're actually gonna just use um, you know, expedited air shipments uh, to get everything in. It's t it takes longer for Kickstarter because <coughs> Excuse me. There's so many different com combinations, right? So the Orlog retail is easy. I can just ship a ton of them somewhere, and I can just open them up and, and dissect them, and you know whatever is broken or whatever is needed, I, we just take them out of that. But with Kickstarter, there was literally like a thousand different possible combinations based on the add-ons that you have, or you know the things things like that. Because some people order two add-ons, three add-ons, and they're in the box. So there are so many different combinations that I can't just send some extras to everywhere. It would literally be thousands of extras. So it just was not logistically possible. So that's the, that's the deal there. So we are starting to respond to all of the emails now. So anybody that's asked for support on stuff that's missing for the Orlog Kickstarter, we are starting to get back to you. So we're gonna ramp up the communication next week even more aggressively. So you'll start seeing replies this week. Um, but even more so next week and over the next coming weeks we're going to compile everything get everything over from the factory and start shipping it out to you guys and of course that's you know all these missing pieces are all at no extra charge you know no one's, no one's going to make you pay for any of that <coughs> and uh, we'll get that all settled and DFI I know is on the ball in, in terms of being responsive so as soon as stuff starts shipping out from them you guys can expect tracking information and all that okay so that is what's happening with Orlog that's the latest greatest. Uh, let's see, are there any questions? Um, what would you personally say about the Michael Jackson likeness in person? I think the likeness is really, really good. Now, um, for MJ, I'm, I was a huge MJ fan. You know, I was a kid growing up in the 80s. MJ it was everything. Everyone had like the, the, the bad shirts or all the different concert shirts and stuff like that. We were kind of obsessed with them. So for me, this is a very special project. Also, the owner of the company is a huge MJ fan, hence why we, we got the MJ license. He spent years getting it. Um, he would never have let this gone out if it wasn't really, really good. So rest assured, this is, a, this is more of a pet project to the owner, and it was very high priority. So you can bet that this thing got a lot of attention, um, especially on, on the details of the face and the hair. I, I know from what I'm hearing in the factory uh, in China, they've been obsessively working on the hair, working on ways to tweak it, make it perfect. So. Uh, yeah, the likeness is good. He's kind of got like he's sticking out his lower lip when he's doing, there's a particular scene where he like hits a pose and he's like, he's like like that. That's the look he's got on his face, but it's really good. And he's got like the individual eyelashes and stuff. It's, uh, it, it's I, I think it's fantastic. I think it's really, really good. Uh, let's see. Is, uh, the, is True Pontiff is shipping in May. Check the, uh, check the status page. Pontiff is on there. So go check that out. Uh, is liquor shipping soon? Yes, liquor is shipping very, very soon. They're starting to arrive in the warehouse um, worldwide very, very soon. I believe the first shipments start arriving in about two weeks. So yes, liquor is shipping very, very soon. It's, um, I'm trying to remember, <coughs> excuse me. I think it's actually on back order now for future orders, but we have like enough for all of the current orders. And of course the exclusive edition had sold out. So uh, there was only a hundred if I remember correctly. So yeah, we've got uh, all of those. So anybody that ordered the exclusive edition, you'll be getting them all on the first shipments that arrive. 
Uh, Witch King. I don't know. I, let's see. You wrote something about Witch King. Witch King would be awesome. I agree. Uh, let's see. Where's the T1000? Like physically here in the office? Uh, over, over there. There's one over there <laughs> by the display window. Um, go check it. Yeah, the T1000 is also super cool. I can't wait for the T1000. I feel like the T1000 is kind of getting like, I don't know if it's like underestimated or what the story is, but I saw a lot of people that didn't like it. And I don't know, in person, it's awesome. So I don't know what, I think a lot of people are underestimating the statue. And when they start seeing people showing photos of it and stuff, they're gonna be like, oh crap, okay, this is actually pretty good. So I, uh, people keep comparing it to another very, very high end, uh, another very, very high end uh, T1000 that was recently released that is like five times the price. And I don't think the likeness on that very expensive piece is that good. So I don't know, people keep, ah, whatever. Anyway, it's subject. Oh, really? we got a T1, you're gonna bring a T1000 over here? Come on, Nico, bring me a T1000. I don't know where we're gonna put them. Oh God, okay, there you go. Oh geez, the head's moving. Okay, calm down, there we go. Here's the T1000. Whew, I don't wanna break anything. There you go, T1000, right there. So yeah, let me, oof. there you go, with a stabby hand of death. I'm gonna put that right here, wait. I don't wanna break anything. I'm so careful with prototypes, as you can see. Oh, jeez. There's the head. Now there's the face. Put that down here like so. And by the way, this can be wall mounted or it can be desk mounted. Let me bring them up over here. There you go. And uh, by the way, oh, the other thing too is, ah, it's just so good. Um, the other thing too is the, um, all the metal that's on here, it's chrome. It's actually chrome plated. So uh, it's not silver paint, which is something that I've seen in a lot of these collectibles is that this is silver paint and it looks like garbage. This is a very fingerprinted marked up chrome. <laughs> And the wall, mount, the wall mount version of this looks really, really good. Let me see if I can do it without smashing anything. Okay. There we go. And then, okay, there you go. There's the wall mount. So you can see you can, wait, hold on. Okay, here we go. There. So he like looks down on you as any T-1000 would with disappointment and shame. <laughs> so there you go. And the hand does connect uh, magnetically and he's got it out in front of him. So there you go. Very cool. Okay. There we go. Wanna grab Mr. T-1000? Thank you very much. There you go. Thank you. I will keep the stabby hand pointing at the camera. <laughs> All righty. Um, where can I find the status page? You can find the status page by going to the website, go to purearts.com, click on the get more link that's at the top of the menu item, and you'll see it'll drop down a black menu. And the second item, first item is gonna be like all of our ongoing contests. The second thing says uh, project status and ETAs. Just click on that and you'll get it. <coughs> there you go, that's what, it, there you go. Thank you, Brian. Yeah, you can see it on the screen right now. Oh, Darth Vader. <laughs> I, it, it appears that Daniel and I, so the two Daniels have the same kind of collection tastes, because yeah, I'm a bit Darth Vader obsessed. Um, I, so my dangerous collecting habit is I'm a bit of a completist, and so being a completist and collecting Star Wars is a nightmare. So I kind of just stick to a few Darth Vader pieces and leave it at that. <laughs> uh, let me see, uh, anything in the Terminator line light up? In the, in the Terminator lineup, I'm not sure what, oh, anything new, in the, anything in the Terminator lineup? I'm not sure what you're asking, Liam. Um, like, is there anything new? No, I mean, the T-1000 is the most recent release in the Terminator lineup. Uh, anything after that? Uh, not right now. Maybe in the future, it's an amazing license. Also, one of my favorites. Um, as you can tell, I'm like more of a movie, <laughs> I'm a movie license collector, uh, but I would love to see more Terminator stuff. I would love a half scale endoskeleton, full endoskeleton for like 300 bucks. How cool would that be? <laughs> Not gonna happen, but we can all wish. 
All right. Let's keep on moving. Um, <coughs> excuse me. All right, you know what? Why don't we do the giveaways? We'll do, we should do the giveaways. Yeah, we've got some giveaways to do. Um, Star Wars, but Vader is my focus. Yeah, Star Wars and yeah, Star, Star Wars is, is awesome. I love all Vader stuff. I actually got into, um, at one point, I was collecting everything that was General Grievous. I was like obsessed with General Grievous. He was just the coolest character. I had the, the, I had the one to one sideshow bust that I repainted because I didn't like his eyes and I had repainted it. Yeah, anyway, it's all sold now. I don't have it anymore. I had to make room for all the pure art stuff. <laughs> all right, let's do some giveaways. So we've got two giveaways to give, right? We've got, um, what do we got? We got, oh, Dragonborn. Oh, it's Dragonborn we're giving away. We're going to give away a Dragonborn, and we're giving away a Michael Jackson statue right here. Not this one. We'll, give, we'll get you a brand new one, I promise. So uh, let's see. I've got the names here where they've been drawn already. So. Let me open this up. Survey set. I think somebody's getting dragonborn. I can hear somebody breaking. Hey, quiet on the set over there, huh? <laughs> okay, Michael Jackson. The winner is Sofiane Machiavelli Don. You are the winner of Michael Jackson. We will reach out to you. Congratulations. You have won the MJ statue. Well done. Next up is dragonborn. Nico, are you bringing me a dragonborn? Okay, we got a dragonborn coming. So, okay, now, we, oh, calm little baby, you're okay. All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so prototypes are delicate when they're in resin. They are really delicate when it comes to figures. Uh, <coughs> the prototypes are all kind of handmade and head tooled, so we have to be careful. But there is the Dragonborn. This is actually a really nice figure. This thing's cool. Oh, and it comes with a, I'm not going to show it all off, but he basically comes, he comes with a full set of hands. Go on the site, and you can check him out on the site. Uh, he's got several sets of hands. He's got weapons. There's a deluxe version that comes with a whole rack, like a weapons rack, where he's got swords and axes and hammers and basically everything you need to create death and destruction. Uh, and he's got a pretty killer outfit, too. Uh, and it comes with a display base with the custom engraving and everything, really, really nice. So Dragonborn, the winner of Dragonborn is, <coughs> excuse me, Luis Riez from Spain, and we'll contact you, so <laughs> congratulations. There goes his leg. See, I told you guys, I'm breaking the prototype. This must be how Bill Gates felt when Windows 98 crashed and he plugged a printer into it. <laughs> All right, let's put him right here. Don't fall, stay, good man. All right, so congratulations, guys. Uh, to those of you that won, so as soon as, well, obviously the MJ will ship out first. Uh, as soon as these are ready to go and the uh, production pieces are starting to ship, uh, you guys will get these uh, directly from our factory. So you will have some beautiful, beautiful pieces. So congratulations, guys. Okay, let's see. Whoop. All right, Melissa's up there letting everybody know that they won. All right, cool. So guys, that's pretty much it for today. Does, uh, we have a, we, we've got time for some open QA if anybody's got any questions or any concerns, anything they want to talk about, uh, anything they want us to try and drag out here that might be available. Actually, really quick, if any of you guys have figures on order. So uh, figures have been obviously a hot topic, and it's been a huge learning curve for us. Um, I think one of the things we wanted to do at Pure Arts was refine uh, how we make articulated figures, uh, and it's been <coughs> it's been a big challenge. So, as you guys know, we've released several figures. So we've got well, Dragonborn here. We've got um, we've got the Rainbow Six Siege stuff. Uh, we've got um, we've got Nomad. We've got Walker. We got Ash. We got Smoke. Uh, then we recently had the Cyberpunk figures, which were finally released. So some of these are very very late, and we know they're late. We're not, we're not trying to sugarcoat it or anything. We know some of these are super late. And it's simply because we want to make sure the projects are done properly. You know, well, you saw my prototype here. This prototype leg fell off. I certainly don't want, you know, we don't want to send you guys a statue where the real one actually does that. So <coughs> we focus primarily on, uh, we, we did work on the R6 and those other early uh, stage pieces. And the samples that we were getting from production were just not what we needed to be. So they were scrapped and restarted. And it was restarted, I think, like three times. 
to the point where we actually started wondering, do we need to cancel these? But then the cyberpunk uh, opportunity came up and I mean, it was huge, right? We sold a massive amount of figures. So we knew, okay, we need to make, we need to make this work. And the cyberpunk figures were delayed. You know, we got a lot of flack online. People were saying these aren't gonna happen and we got ripped and everything else. We're like, no, trust us, we're working on it. And fast forward to today, to today the cyberpunk figures have shipped. The reviews have been fantastic. People love them. They love the motorcycle. I mean, it's just been, it's just, the reviews have been phenomenal. So we're super, super happy with that. And then once we kind of perfected that amount, we then went back and started working on the old figures. So these uh, articulated figures are now starting to ship and are starting to come out finally. So this summer, we've got most of the old releases scheduled to launch. So uh, again, the project status page has been updated. So on there, you will find uh, everything. So you'll find Ash, Smoke, Walker, Nomad are all on there now. Um, Dragonborn's on there. So these are being attacked very aggressively because we have more uh, figures that we want to do, right? So um, we want to make sure that the figures are top and we wanted to make sure that we're able to produce them quicker uh, and very effectively, which obviously we were having problems with at the beginning. So we feel like we found a good recipe. Cyberpunk was really awesome. So we're finally confident in the bodies, the articulation, the way the joints are done, the way the clothing's done. So very, very excited to see that, okay? So I do apologize again. We're very sorry about the originals that have been taking so long, but they are back on track. Uh, and this summer, we're gonna start seeing them ship out. Uh, let's see what's going on. The original T-100. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the original T-100. And it sold out really fast. The original T-800 sold out super, super quick. Um, our, it was sold through other partners as well, and they, they, they sold them really, really fast. So there was an exclusive version of this, and there was the standard version. So <coughs> the battle damage one, the uh, standard version didn't come with the grenade, with the uh, M409 uh, grenade replica, whereas the exclusive edition did. And there was 2,029... Uh, of the regular edition, and I mean it sold out like this. Our distribution partners picked it up, like in a weekend it was gone. It was crazy how quickly it sold. And then the exclusive edition also sold pretty quick. You know, you guys still had a chance to pick it up for a few weeks, but yeah, it, it sold out pretty quick. So, um, and we love that you guys support this product. It really is a really cool, cool one. You can still find the T800 online, like on eBay and stuff, but it's, I know it's not cheap. Secondary market, it's, it's crazy. It's, you know, it's, it's crazy when I look back at collectibles that you know, we were purchasing off of uh, like Sideshow and sites like that uh, you know, 15 years ago for retail that cost nothing that now sell for like $8,000. And I think it costs like 500. It's, it's crazy how the secondary market has gone up. Uh, planning any Elden Ring statues? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> let's see, what else is going on? Uh, backwards, Assassin's Creed. Any plans to make an Arnold art mask as well? Yes. Personally, I absolutely have it planned. Whether it's gonna happen or not is another story. I would love to see a Arnold T-800 like damaged. So like half his face is torn off or something. I would love to see that happen. Um, it's been discussed. It's, I don't know if it's gone any further than that, but that would be cool. I agree, that would be insane. Uh, let's see, at any conventions I swear I saw an MJ history promo statue. Is that still a thing? Will there be more MJ? Daniel Creek is not missing anything. He's seen it all. Yes. So um, based on the success and how this gets received and how all that went, uh, there are more MJ pieces coming. Um, as I've explained in the past, the licensor for MJ is very protective of the license and of MJ. So it, it's important that Michael Jackson's statues be absolutely premium. And that's what we're talking about, like the clothing and the box and everything. It needs to be a whole other level in terms of a collectible for it to be accepted. So it takes a very, very long time. This statue was in development for six years. Good luck finding any company that develops a statue for six, seven, eight years. That's how long it took to bring this to, to this point. So. Um, yeah, there's more coming for MJ for sure. It has been a huge, very, very popular license. People love this statue. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to more pieces. I've seen the prototypes. They are amazing. Amazing. Will you guys be at SDC, uh, San Diego Comic Con? God, I would love to. Um, we'll see what happens, right? Hopefully it's the end of this pandemic nonsense. Um, it's very difficult for us to travel internationally, right? Because you got to test, you got to have this, you got to have that. Hopefully by next July, things have calmed down. Uh, the other big show that we want to do is Gamescom. 
So Gamescom in Germany, which is in August, if I remember correctly. I can't, I've, done a, I've done quite a few game shows. Uh, we're hoping Gamescom, we can attend that as well. So anybody in Europe can come and, come and visit us. Um, but yeah, we definitely have a few game shows that we're looking to do. Um, and SDCC would be insane. Would love to. Even if we don't get a booth, I would love to at least just go visit. Uh, how many smooth criminal statues do I have to buy in order for more MJ to be made? At least 100. Okay. 100 more. Answer. Tell you what, you buy 100 more, and whatever the next NJ statue is, I'll give you one for free. <laughs> Where are you based out of? We are based out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. So right now, we're in the Montreal studio. Uh, any plans? Yeah, I don't know. That's it. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, I want to do a giveaway. Can, we do, can I do a giveaway? I don't know. I hope you're not watching this. I'm going to give stuff away. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Master Nine Eyes, guys. Um, this is Oranji san. This is our Master Nine Eyes for 2022. So every year we have a uh, edition that we only do throughout the entire year. Okay, uh, and then every February it's discontinued. So we had Ghost Eyes. So Ghost Eyes will be retired um, probably at the end of the month. That'll be the end of it for Ghost Eyes. So next up is Oranji san, um, and I'd like to give one away. Let's do it. So there's a bit of a delay. There you go. There's a Rajasan. He's looking cool. Orange is actually one of my favorite colors, so I'm kind of partial to this guy here. Oh, wait, can I put him here? Let's put him here. I don't have his, his base is not attached. Hopefully he doesn't fall. Stay. There we go. So why don't we do this? There's a bit of a delay. Um, there's like a nine second delay. So you guys will probably answer before I can see it. But the first person that correctly responds to this question and I, the first person I see in the chat, you, get, you win one of these. So when this starts shipping, you get one for free, OK? What is the name of the artist that created the Master Nine Eyes platform? Go. I'm going to wait for nine seconds. While I'm waiting, uh, yes, Sideshow will be distributing the uh, standard version of the uh, Sauron mask. <laughs> okay, nobody knows the answer or this feed is broken, one of the two. Oh, it's doing top chat. Wait a minute, I'm not seeing a live chat. Here we go, okay. All right, nobody wants to win one because nobody's guessing. <laughs> or is the delay that bad? Ryan is not the creator. Ryan is not the creator, no. All right, people don't know the name of the artist that created the platform. Wow. You could just literally go on purearts.com right now and look it up on any Master Nine Eyes page. It says his name. Employees are exempt. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's Ryan. <laughs> Ryan wins. It's the one. It's the one that just sits on his desk. There we go, finally, Fanatics. There you go. OK, good job, Fanatics. You win one. <laughs> good job. All right, there you go, free one. Now, the next time we do a live stream, guys, is ask your friends to join. Just anybody. Ask your moms, your dads. They don't even have to pay attention. Get them to come in, and if I see 100 people watching the stream at one time, we'll give away like a premium resin statue, something super kick-ass, OK? So listen, guys, I think that's about it. Um, yep, yeah, our hour is just about up. Uh, does anybody have any other questions before we close up the chat? All right, so Fanatics, um, you can send us a DM on Facebook or on Instagram. Hopefully, you have got an account on one of those two. Uh, so just go ahead and reach out to us uh, and uh, send us your address information, all that good stuff. And uh, we'll get you your Iranji song. Uh, What's going on there? All right, cool. That's it, guys. Any comments from the, from the production team? You guys did an awesome job. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining our live stream. Um, go and check this out. Go check out the product photos on purearts.com. Uh, the Sauron mask is just insane. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning in today and watching our show. Thank you. We'll see you guys in about a month. 
Uh, other than that, I'll catch you guys on social media. Don't forget to join the Facebook group, Pure Arts Collectors, uh, and uh, go on there and shoot the breeze with us. I'm on there all the time, po posting photos when I can whenever we come to the office and all that good stuff and answering your questions. If there's anything you need, hit up support at purearts.com and be sure to follow all of our socials, Instagram, all that good stuff. And TikTok, we're on TikTok as well, so go check it out. All right, guys? Thank you so much. Have a good one. Peace and love and all that good stuff. Behave yourselves. Take care, guys.